So as you know, the players of Roblox will often disapprove of Roblox's updates or they will negatively express their opinion on the updates that Roblox brings us. But as you also know, there is those rare few times where Roblox actually do a good thing. And those even rarer times where Roblox players will actually appreciate and like the updates that Roblox work hard on. And those times that rarely even exist where players will like afro updates those are those are definitely unheard of but today we are looking at something that roblox has done recently that i actually really really like and it also very surprisingly seems like a lot of other people like it too and get this here is the catch that makes this literally unbelievable the thing that roblox has done that we all think is so very good involves Afro. Yes, you heard me right. It involves Afro and people actually don't hate it. What? <laughs> and I am here on twitter.com where I am about to show you the absolutely outstanding thing Roblox has done. By the way, I think you should probably follow me because I'm very close to 10,000 followers. Of course, we are looking at Roblox's Twitter page and it seems right away that the thing they have done is right there in front of us. They are even so proud of this that they pinned it themselves. Yes, you can read. We have established this in previous videos. The Afro Avatar Contest is back. And I'm gonna be honest, it seems like just last week that Roblox were hosting the first ever Afro contest. But actually, believe it or not, it was a whole seven months ago. That's right, it was not even this year, published on 16th of December 2018. It was last year. But anyway, design an Afro avatar, submit your concept, see your art come to life, which is, you know, basically the whole entire concept of this entire contest. You draw an avatar, using nothing but your imagination and your artist abilities. You just send them it, I guess, and then, you know, they will choose some to actually create into packages. And I will admit that the first time they made this contest, I did actually call it a terrible mistake. And much like last time, we do have entries just like this. Both of these images look exactly the same, by the way. But also, just like last time, we do have some absolutely amazing entries. Like, just scrolling down, just the talent that the these players have and the absolutely amazing imagination that they have to come up with some of the things that they have come up with. It's it's absolutely incredible to me because I, I just, I personally, I could never see myself doing something like these people are doing. And you know, we, we, we did kind of meme it a little bit and call it a terrible mistake last time, mainly because of entries like this and entries L like this. But in the end, I can assure you that it definitely was not a mistake because the way that the Afro bundles actually turned out when they got created on Roblox, the way they turned out is just, it's just amazing. These two were born from the first Afro contest. And out of all the Afro avatars that are currently on Roblox, these two are personally two of my actual favorites. And these were entirely created, designed by people from the Roblox community, which in some kind of weird, I don't know, just crazy way, makes these packages just that little bit more special. And it's actually very nice, very, very nice to see Roblox actually involving and including including players' thoughts and inputs like this. So right off the bat in these replies, we have some absolute, I, I, these are amazing. I wanted to bring back the nostalgic epic and evil duckies with the ducky duo. They're a mix and match package, which means the hats and faces can be swapped between both models and still fit. So we have this one inspired by the epic ducky and this one obviously inspired by the evil ducky. And I just, I love their shoes so so much. And of course, as you guys know, with black and red being my two favorite colors in the whole entire world, the evil ducky package, I have to say, is my favorite of the two. The hoods are amazing. This one is very imaginative. I do like this a lot. Meet Claude Companion, otherwise known as Clamper Crony. They are quite a real catch being a crane is their game. <laughs> wow, that's quite a catchphrase. Option A, claw machine torso plus teddy blocks pin head. That is 
really cool. So the head would be inside the torso. Option B, claw machine is split in two. Okay, that's also very interesting and of course contains many beloved Roblox plushes. This one I also like a lot. Roblox in human form has the linked sword, a speed coil on that arm, a gravity coil on that arm. Roblox blueprints strapped to his leg. The hole in the Roblox logo acts as an eye. He has an imagination vial and the back, like literally his head is just the Roblox logo and it, it just looks really, really cool. But I feel like if this one is used, oh, this one does win. With Roblox removing all of the red logos and switching them to black, white, gray, silver, whatever they are, I feel like Roblox is going to try and change the colour of this at least. But either way, I think it will look amazing if it actually does become an actual Roblox package. And like I said, again, the art is absolutely amazing. I will never get over how talented some of you guys are. I like this one a lot because it doesn't have the traditional two legs. It would be very interesting though to see how this character would move in game. Everybody, me, Aqua Marie, also known as the mermaid. She's an anglerfish mermaid that loves to rock and roll. She belongs to a deep sea band called the Anglers. I'm probably saying that awfully wrong. Instead of feet, her tail would move when the player walks. So so again, I'm very, very intrigued to see how the tail would move. So this one will be very interesting to see actually put into Roblox. And I do love the guitar that comes with her. This one seems to have gotten a lot of attention and a lot of likes, almost 2000. Sugar the 1950s Dinah Robo Clown. I love, oh my God, the roller skates. I love them. Look, there's just so many to choose from. And I can imagine with this many submissions and the amount of them that are absolutely absolutely outstanding. It, it's a very hard choice. And if Roblox actually choose your design and your character to actually be made into a character, not only do you get your design actually in Roblox, but they will give you 500 actual dollars. Like not 500 Robux, 500 real life dollars, which for a lot of people that can be that can be amazing. That that can help them out a lot. So yeah, like I said, for the people actually taking this seriously, this is an amazing thing. And I'm very, very happy that Roblox are doing it again. And scrolling through them replies just now, it seems like there is a lot less troll replies this year, which is also a very good thing, of course. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Afro Avatar contest coming back once again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.